Hello, Gary Hernandez here, and welcome to Kane Self Defense and Master Gary Hernandez. <clears throat> Today, we're going to work on the single handed poke. Now, the single handed poke is just used quickly to get somebody off you for a second or two. This technique does not have any power, so it's just something I'm going to do to get them off me and prep myself for another technique. I'm sitting here, and the individual starts to step in. It's a quick boom, and I back up as I do that. Again, it doesn't have power. Like the bayonet strike, which is a two-handed strike that has a lot of power, this one does not. Now, why would I use this over a bayonet strike? Well, simple. I happen to be here, and all of a sudden, this person comes a little faster than I wanted to. Instead of prepping it like this for the two-handed strike, on the poke, I can actually step backwards and poke them at the same time with that one hand with reach to kind of slow them down for a second and create a little distance so I can prep for something else. You know, I'm sitting here, I'm about this close, this person gets a little aggressive, steps in, pokes them, now I'm ready to do something. Again, just to slow the individual down. It does not have power. You know, yeah, it sounds like um, Rock and Bob here, but so is that. So <clears throat> it's not powerful at all. Again, it works good real quick in a pinch. You're sitting here, and this person also they just kind of take a quick step toward you, you know, and you simply will lift that, poke them in the stomach or chest, just to back, you know, not even really back them out. It's going to make them go for a second, but it gives you time. I wouldn't try to go <clears throat> for the throat or the face or anything like that because you may miss and if they're doing this, you're going to miss and you're going to be real close, they're going to get you. <clears throat> when you do this technique, again, it comes up, notice what I'm going to do. I'm either going to A, step backwards or B, step at an angle to kind of get myself away from them. So as, the, as I'm stepping, the cane comes up. All one motion, quick poke, and I go backwards. If I'm going to go at an angle, a quick poke, and I go backwards. <clears throat> don't try to just poke them several times, and don't, when you poke, don't leave your cane out because they're going to grab your cane and probably beat you senseless with it. So you want to make sure you don't do that. Again, all it is is just a quick get away from me. Let's say you got drunk Uncle Bob over, right? He's, uh, and he's, uh, you think you know how to defend yourself. And he's, you know, everybody gets this one weird guy in the family, right? You got drunk Uncle Bob, so you simply, you kind of, uh, you might push him off. You know, maybe you didn't want to do that. You just want to get away from Uncle Bob and you kind of push him with your cane. It's not going to really hurt him because you're pushing him. Obviously, you don't shove him into the furniture. But <clears throat> it's just to get somebody and slow them down. You can work it with your right, you can work it with your left. It's a pretty good technique to use in a pinch real quick and prep you for something else. So take the single-handed poke, work that technique. Like I always say, make it yours. If you like it, use it. If you don't like it, just you don't have to <laughs> push it to the curb. Like I say in some of my other videos, if you don't like it, push it to the side. You don't have to use it. And these are there just to kind of help you guys. Um, with some of the stuff that I learned over the decades. So, decades. So again, like I always say, make it yours, practice it, do both hands right and left, have fun with it. So hopefully that helps. Gary Hernandez, and I will see you guys very soon. Thank you.